I put so much time and effort into finding the ring and making sure everything was smooth. Pause it right there. Zoom. Zoom in on those hair follicles. Have you ever seen such large hair follicles on the back of a woman's hands? No, you haven't. You know why? Because it's physically impossible. You can tell by the diameter of these hair follicles that there was a dense, thick forest of hair here, but it's been removed. You can even see the stubble growing back. What I'm trying to say is these hands have been waxed from chimp to chick. What I'm trying to say is that she has the hands of a man because she is a man. No woman on earth has hands this hairy that needs to be waxed. Forearm? Sure. Basically every woman in Iraqistan. Top of the hand? No. This is a dude. 100%. I would bet Logan Paul's life on it. So now that we have determined with 100% scientific accuracy that Logan Paul is marrying a man, the question becomes, why? Why? To answer that question, we have to go back and watch the rest of this video. Why 2023 was the best year of my life. 2023 has been the best year of my life. Of course it has. Of course it has. When everybody else is suffering and barely able to afford food, it's been the best year of this jackass's life. Because civilization is in free fall. And if you need more proof, let's jump ahead here. Prime Hydration, little company that I started with my ex-rival KSI. When, when, when is that lie gonna die? When is that lie gonna die? It's not a little company that you created with your friend. It's a company that was created by a beverage company that has other beverages on their roster. And, and they just got you idiots to be the face of it. We've covered this many times. Podcast Cringe has covered it as well. They didn't create it. This idiot cannot create anything but cringe. Anyway, making Logan Paul and KSI the face of Prime should have been a disaster. In a sane world, nobody would have bought it. But that's not the case. Watch this. Grossed 1.2 billion in revenue in only its second year. That is insane. That is insane. And this is insane. Do you hear these mouth breathing mongoloids chanting, we want prime? Listen to it again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And you know, the rest of us cope with Logan Paul's fame and say, oh, oh his fans are six years old. Do these look like six year olds to you? These look like 17 year olds. I mean, this guy. This guy's in his 80s. Zoom in on this guy. Pause right there. Let's back it up here, frame by frame, using the most advanced video technology available to mankind. Look at this poor sack. And you can see, if you zoom in here, he is also bald, like Logan and Jake Paul. And he's trying to cover it up with their comb forward, but he's too far gone. Look at this. Look at this sad attempt to do the comb forward, but he's just, he just doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough to pull off the infamous Paul brothers comb forward. You see, there's, there's a certain point at which that comb forward is just not going to work for you. And he has hit that point. But let's move our attention from this poor bastard to this incel. Let me explain what's going on here. This guy seems to have caught a bottle of prime that they threw into the audience. And he is celebrating like the antidote to his virginity is in that bottle. Watch this. Kids. Look at him. And it's not just him because you can say, okay, well, there, there's one uh, mentally deranged person in the crowd who's reacting like that. Okay, fine. How do you explain the people around him? These people around him are celebrating for him and they're filming this on their phones. Look at how many cameras, how many phone cameras are aimed at him because he is the lucky bastard who caught the bottle. Back here, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. This guy, these cameras are pointed at this incel in a crowd of other incels. Look at these two. Look how excited they are for this loser because he caught a bottle of Prime. Look how excited he is for him. If you have not already lost all hope in humanity, I hope this does it for you. I hope this does it for you. We are done. We are done. Earth is done. There's no fixing it. I can't fix it. I can only help you laugh at it. Look at him. If, if, you, if you have any hope for humanity, I beg you, I beg you to just drop it. Just drop it, my friend. It's over. Oh my God, this guy's even patting him on the tummy. He's so excited for him. Look at him jumping up and down. Okay, okay look at this. Look at, oh my God. Oh my God. Look at him screaming into his friend's face that he caught the one bottle of Prime. Look at this. And this guy, elated for his friend. This right here is all you need to know 
about our future prospects as a society. This is the next generation, folks. This is the next generation of voters. They'll be voting in like two years. Oh, God. We're done. We're done. But hey, let's laugh at it. Let's laugh at it while the Titanic goes down. Now, if you thought this guy was the incel of the year, check this guy out. Oh, good. My mouse died right in the middle of this. Okay. I'm going to have to find another mouse. I mean, how does my mouse die right in the middle of filming? I swear to God. And we're back. All right. Now, check out this next guy. God, kids, chances are they're... Right there. Right there. Right there. Back it up. Back it up. Look at this loser. Look at what he has written on his chest in, in magic marker. K-S-I. He wrote that on his chest. You know, back in the heyday of rock and roll, groupies would have rock stars, like, sign their breasts. This is what we have in 2024. Gay lords writing KSI's name on their chests. And what he's doing here is symbolic. He's sucking KSI's dong, all right? But if you think this is bad, I will direct your attention to his other pectoral. LP, Logan Paul. He has both of their names written on his naked chest while sucking KSI and Logan Paul's dongs and drinking their dong juice. Because that's what Prime is. It's dong juice. Okay? It's dong juice for retards like him. It's been proven. There's a video on YouTube proving that this is just piss water. But it's made $1.2 billion in its second year? We're done. We're done, folks. Earth is done. It's time to move on. And everything is ruined. And they, look, look at this. The UFC is ruined. Watch this. Okay, first of all, that, that, that scream from this mouth-breathing, mongoloid, mental midget makes me want to off myself. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. This retard is worth a good 200 million with his stake in Prime and everything else he's got? This idiot. What are you worth? What are you worth? Anyways, let's go on. We also signed the UFC this year, which... Prime. This is like the official drink of UFC. UFC was our safe space, if I can call it that for a moment. But Logan Paul and KSI invaded it. Now we're left with nothing. We're left with nothing. He also invaded the WWE. So, to me, honestly, this is worse than Dana White signing Bud Light. It just is. They're both horrific. Don't get me wrong. I'm not okay with that Bud Light decision. But to me, this is worse. It's just worse. Prime just stands for everything that is wrong in society. Right down to the athletes that they sign. Watch this. Not to mention, we have somehow built an incredibly impressive roster of Prime athletes. UFC champions Israel Adesanya and Ali. Israel Adesanya. First of all, Logan, he is no longer a champion. He lost. He got dominated. Like the doggy diddler that he is. But Prime is just cringe from start to finish. The faces of, of the company are Logan Paul and KSI. Can't get more cringe than that. Literally, who on earth is more cringe than that? And then the athletes they sign. Is he? Really, dude? King cringe of the UFC. That's the, that's the only championship belt he has of the UFC. Cringiest fighter ever. Good Lord. Prime just needs to die, man. It's given these these mongoloids, Logan Paul and KSI, too much power, too much money, too much resources. <laughs> that laugh hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. Listen to it again. And, and he's jacking himself off. He's jacking himself off. Watch this. Watch this hand down here. He's, yeah, he's masturbating while he's, while he's laughing. And you're saying, well, I can't see his wee-wee. Yeah, that's how small it is. That's how small it is. That's why he has to compensate with this obnoxious laugh, this obnoxious personality, because he has a micropenis. It's just so exhausting. Actually, the answer is it's a great product. I'm no, it's not. It's not a great product. It's not. This guy's literally drinking piss. They've literally bottled piss. And look at this goddamn lifetime incel. You poor bastard. And, and by the way, I, I feel bad for this guy. Okay, he has no shot in life. Especially this path he's going down by following Logan and KSI. That never leads to anywhere good.
God damn, what a bunch of losers. I just don't know how you can idolize Logan Paul and KSI. I get it, they're young, but man, when I was a kid, I idolized Axl Rose and Sylvester Stallone, not a couple of douche lords. Jesus Christ. This next generation is completely lost. Their parents failed. Their parents failed. And their parents are paying for these $10 a bottle primes. This next image is going to hurt you. This has found me in this way. KSI, man, we have a lot to be proud of. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Right here. I want you to take this in. I'm, I'm not going to say anything for, for a couple seconds here. I just, I, just, I just want you to take in this. Look here, look there, and then look at all of it together. Okay, go ahead. In fact, let's, let's zoom in. I'm going to step out of the frame here. Okay, so what we have here is a combined net worth of easily $400 million. Easily $400 million. Do you have any conception of how much money that is? Why do they have this money? Well, I have a theory about it later in this video that comes right back to why Logan Paul is marrying a man. But regardless of that point, I want you guys to understand that life is not fair when these guys are worth $400 million. Yeah, you, you got to understand that between the two of them, they have an IQ of 1.5. And between the two of them, they have a combined net worth of easily 400 million. There's no correlation in, in this current era between intelligence and money, between integrity and money. There just isn't anymore. Oh, work hard and you can achieve this too. No, you can't. No, you can't. Um, so yeah, these uh, absolute retards are living it up while you and I are living in a sewer. And these guys just, they, they have zero self-awareness. Hey, listen to this next tidbit by this mongoloid. I feel like the internet has given people a lot of confidence in themselves and the freedom to really just say and do whatever they want online, oftentimes without repercussions. And really? Really? Like, like filming, filming dead people who hung themselves because their lives were so awful. And then the repercussion was you're more famous and rich than ever now. Like your career should have ended there. I'm not, I'm not into cancel culture, but why would anybody have continued to watch this idiot? So I'm against cancel culture as in like taking away his platform and deleting him from the internet. I don't mean that. There should have just been an organic canceling of, oh yeah, we don't watch you anymore because you suck. We're not going to buy your prime because you suck and so does prime. But the lack of self-awareness here. Oh, oh, and speaking of doing things online and there being no repercussions. Oh, how about CryptoZoo? Oh, how about that? 2023 was the best year of your life. You, you didn't mention CryptoZoo anywhere in this video. And yeah, you're doing some lame buyback now full of tons of conditions to just l lower the impact of a class action lawsuit on yourself. This guy is the poster child for lack of repercussions. So now let's jump into uh, the WWE world that Logan Paul has somehow taken over. We get to do some cool stuff. One night, I had a wrestling match in Detroit, Michigan. I won and I took a jet to Dallas where Jake was fighting Nate. Okay, stop right here. So on the same night, he fought in the WWE and Jake Paul fought Nate Diaz, okay? So he fought first, he gets on a private jet. Notice he hasn't bothered to throw on a t-shirt, take off his uh, elbow guards there, change his pants, and you're like, well, yeah, he's rushing to get there. Okay, so he rushed to get on the plane. Once he's on the plane, he's got a what? At least one hour flight? You can't throw a shirt on, you can't take off the elbow pads, you can't take off the, you can't change the pants? He could, but I'll tell you why he didn't. Just watch, keep watching. Notice he does not have a shirt on, a jacket on, nothing. This is a very important point. Keep watching. Diaz on the same night. But then when he shows up at the venue, when the big lights, the big cameras are on him, he now magically has his outfit from the WWE, the whole thing, the, the, the upper body portion too. We made it just in time. Look but at this. Stories like that are literally like Look at what this. we live Now he's for. in the crowd Everyone wearing his WWE we outfit. Why? Wrong time and time again. I'm so Why? Why is he wearing his WWE outfit? He wasn't wearing it on the plane. He put it on so that the attention could be brought on him. Jake just fought Nate Diaz here. He won. Yeah, Nate didn't even bother. That's, that's, uh, I don't even want to talk about that right now. But Logan just has to try to steal the attention away by wearing this god awful, gaudy, horrifically bad WWE costume, okay? That's how much of a self-centered, attention-seeking whore he is. His little brother here is trying to have his moment. Hey guys, look at me, I'm in WWE. That's why he rushed to get there, to promote his WWE career some more. And how did this guy get into the WWE? 
How did this guy become WWE champ so quickly? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked because that is how we explain why he's marrying a man. That is how we explain why Logan Paul would marry a man. Now, is Logan Paul gay? I don't think so. I mean, he looks gay. He's got a gay ass haircut, but I don't think he is actually a homosexual. The reason Logan Paul is marrying a man is because it's a humiliation ritual. Hear me out here. We've established that this guy is retarded, right? He doesn't have two brain cells to rub together. How is it possible that this moron could in just 2023 be the face of a new drink that had revenues of 1.2 billion? Could be the face of the most talked about boxing fight of the year, him and Dylan Dennis. And three, become WWE champion, okay? You accomplish any one of those things in your entire life, and it's an unbelievable accomplishment. He did three of those in one year. He did three of those in one year. How? How can you be so dumb and pull that off? How can you be so hated by a, a huge portion of the viewing public and still pull this off? How? He didn't pull it off. The puppet masters pulled it off. The people in charge pulled it off. The people at the top pulled it off. He's just the face of it. Now, they're not going to give you all of that and let your ego grow out of control and let you think you're the man and you're in charge. They got to humble you once in a while. They got to humble you once in a while. They got to put you in your place. And that's what humiliation rituals are. This happens in Hollywood all the time. Making male actors wear dresses, making them do all sorts of gay stuff. I mean, I mean that topic could be an entire documentary, but it is very much something that happens. But it's just a nasty secret of the entertainment world that if you want to get to the top, there are people that can make it happen, but you got to pay. You got to pay. The lizard people aren't going to make you famous and not get anything back in return. The lizard people aren't going to make you famous and let you think you're the man. No, they got to humble you. They got to let you know who owns you. Logan Paul's price? He's got to marry a dude. He has to get in bed with a dude every night. Suck a dude. Take him in the butt by a dude. And he'll do it gladly. For the millions upon millions of dollars he's making for being able to be a WWE champ, which was his childhood dream. He'll take one up the old sphincter for the money and the fame. So that's why Logan Paul is marrying a man. Humiliation ritual. Anyways, if you think that is insane, it's not nearly as insane as Jake Paul's alien abduction story. Have you heard this? If you haven't, you gotta check it out right here. I break it down in great detail.